Autumn is the season for stews and I went on a hunt for a real classic. What I found was the beef stroganoff. I have a few tricks up my sleeve to make this extra tasty. It's a low effort, high reward kind of recipe, so join me as I prepare an autumn beef stroganoff. So first let's work on the onion. Remove the top and the root from the onion, then split it in half. Lay it on the flat side down and slice the onion into smaller strips. Repeat this for both onions. Next we need to wash and cut the mushrooms. Remove the stem from the mushroom, lay the flattest side down and cut the mushroom in the middle. Turn it over and slice it into bite-sized pieces. Repeat this for all the mushrooms and then move on to the garlic. Peel, crush, cut in half and finely mince three small garlic cloves. And whatever you do, do not throw these scraps away. Put them in a container or a plastic bag and throw them in the freezer. It makes for an excellent homemade low sodium stock base. We've made it to the meat, so let's start preparing the sirloin steak. It's quite easy. Take some cling film or baking paper and a heavy object. Place the paper on top of the meat and think of someone who made you sad or angry during the week. Then you give the meat a few good punches until it's even and tenderized. Then we cut the steaks into long strips. And we can move on to start preparing the stroganoff. If you have a cast iron pot, this is another great time to use it. Add some oil and wait for the cast iron to get hot. We start by adding the mushroom and onion to make sure it can sweat a bit in the pan. Once the onion is translucent and has softened, we can add the garlic. Mix the vegetables around to not burn the garlic. Let it go for a few minutes and then you can add the tomato paste. Before we take the vegetables off the heat, let the tomato paste bloom a little bit to make it sweeter. Then we can move on to the meat. Add some oil and butter in your cast iron pot. And once the butter is melted, you can add the sirloin steak. We don't want to overcook the meat at this stage. So just let it quickly get some color on all sides and then you can remove the meat from the heat. Next we add some water and concentrated veal stock to the glaze the pot. And then we add the onion and mushroom mixture. We will now go in with heavy cream, mix it to combine and add pepper, paprika and cayenne spices. Now is also a great opportunity to taste for salt and before we add the meat back into the stroganoff, consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me a lot. Let's add the meat back into the stroganoff along with some ketchup. Now it's very important to reduce the heat to low because we don't want the sauce to split whenever we add the sour cream. At this point I thought it was lacking in the salt and pepper department, so I added those, and then for the unusual ingredient, dill. If you can find fresh dill, use some of that, but dried also works. And the last thing we will add to the stroganoff is a teaspoon of Dijon mustard along with a teaspoon of normal mustard. And you know, that's it! A lot of people serve stroganoff with cooked buttered pasta, but I prefer to eat it with rice. Spoon a lot of stroganoff sauce over the rice and enjoy this rich and robust beef stroganoff. If you're still here, smash that like button to let me know that you watched all the way to the end. And check back later for more cooking related videos.